a worm, a leaf. One devours the other. There is an exquisite divinity and celebration in this picture. Nature's celestial purpose is the creation of a rich warmth to express a golden magic. Sense it. Decipher it. Glory in it. Welcome to Assam or Ahom, the gateway to India's northeastern states. Swalkuchi, adjoining Assam's Guwahati city, is the face of this enchantment. Muga, amber or gold and Assamese, the wonders of this golden thread. This paradisical silk are akin to the metal in its warm glow, in its permanence and indestructibility, in the fascination and attraction it has given rise to, spanning centuries and generations. The Muga Mekhila Chador, the traditional dress of the Assamese woman, remains an emblem that will never fade. That Muga Sari as the family heirloom, that print and design that foster awe and glory for Assam's heritage and legacy. In an earlier age, Muga was reserved for royalty. Today, it is often compared to being as expensive as buying gold. Call it intrinsic to the identity of the Assamese ethos. A treasure that it boasts of and prides in. Ole Zethner visits from Denmark with his family and friends just to understand and decode its brilliance. Muga is not found anywhere else in the world. This is a special for, for Assam. It is gold of Assam. Gold of, of Assam, really. There is a world, a culture, a living and lifestyle behind this thread. The rhythmic rattle of the shuttle is Sual Kuchi's biggest signature. This is Shantitul, the hub of Assam's weaving industry. From a range of craft and cottage industries in the 1930s and 40s, the factory system with the semi-automatic fly shuttle handloom is today the predominant bread earner in three out of every four households of the village. The heirloom. Perhaps the term originated here, for nowhere else is the loom as strong a symbol of life as it is here. Mahatma Gandhi on a visit here had remarked, dreams are woven into Swalkuchi's cloth. And then, the shock and irony of it all. 
Muga, the golden thread that nurtured this industry, has all but vanished. Most here have taken to cultivating and weaving other cloths. Life still revolves around thread and texture and lacing and intertwining of fibers. But down the last two decades and more, the focus has shifted from the gold of Muga to the reds and browns of a lesser fabric. इतिहास तो मना हमारे जी मुगा नोहा हुई चहे मुगा नोहा हमारे बिनी मायात अमर तो मना ये जब प्रोडक्शन तो कमी गोशे मुगर मुगर प्रोडक्शन कमी जो आकर ना हमें मुगा हुटे तो बाद दी दिशो दी इतिहास में ये पातर का पोड़ बिला कोड़ी शो ये पातर काम कोड़ी शो यार लोग तोसा से तोसर काम करो और मुगर तो काम ये तो बंद तेतिया कपूर्तुल दरो आठ नौ हजार तो का अमार यार पर बिक्री हुई चल, हे तुलना ना आजित तारीख होत, हे जोड़ा तो है सेम जोड़ा तो है, इतने पौषी हजारों पे आठ हजारों कलाई जाए, आर डीजेन लोए, किसी मान टीडी हजारों आए, आठ हजार तो का कलाई हो जाए गोई से। So the fallback, Bata Kuchi in the Boko Revenue Circle, once a Muga rearing hub. Is now more about paddy fields. For many in the village, rice cultivation has now emerged as the bread and butter of the day. Paddy may be far from what culture and tradition tell them, but at least it feeds the family. बहुत दूर पर आने वाले तामो बिशी इतना पोषण ना ना है इतु कने इतना बादी दिया हुआ है इतना रोकूल खिती आनारो लोबोर इगला और जायर। आइनु मुले लिनु लाएगा खीर पानी को खुआयो टुलीले मु। देहो। गुपाय मुझो लाको था को बोए ना जा। But there's hope yet. Hope despite the challenges. Hira Rabba inherited the Muga tradition from her father, veteran Subal Rabba. And he from his father and grandfather before him. For them, there is no going away from what they see as its familial tie. There is a deep human insect connect as Subal Rabba, now in his 80s, reads the moods and qualities and growth of a Muga worm. To him, every shape, every color and contour of the worm tell an entire story and at every stage a humanoid instinct feels and assesses and anticipates the mechanical measurements of science and cold measured technicalities are left far behind it's a distinct mingling of mankind with nature one understanding and empathizing with the other Ini bilikor dar mana hari adia, adia nuami, kami nijian batu amar tu kanai, bilikor ni adia ni tak kaya kami puhu, tak kaya dar mana hikini jikini pang, hikini kami ni kibai tak kuri korhanot solu aro. For the rubbers and scores of families like theirs and Bata Kuchi, the cultivation of the muga silk, the feeding and molting of the muga worm that is ready to create its cocoon. Through to the extraction of the silk threads and spinning, symbolizes an undying cosmic bond. These are people who hold a special bond with the Muga worm, and they are determined that climatic vagaries today will not be allowed to play spoil sport. Sheer hard work and enterprise has reaped rich rewards and commercial success too. Subal Rabba's son, Huli Ram, is out collecting Muga cocoons from plantations across Batakuchi, from folks who have given up on the rearing cycle. The treasured pods he buys will yield the sheen of the golden thread post-treatment and also precious seed for next Muga cycle. Holy Ram comes across admirably among those who have a never-say-die attitude. 
a ready willingness to harness and make the best of the situation moi bhabi su je okol moi basile no hobo je osor bosor manu bilak teonago kapurot byabostha hok kapur bonak aru sit bonar samoyot osor bosor manu hine osor manu khini ami motamoti mok samoy khetrot 100 jon man manu laga hoy jay teonake iyat dharjon kam kori pela teonake lora sole schoolot porhabo karone dui paisa subidha hoy yet for all his determination there is a definite counter force that challenges him at every step it's a huge power the vagaries of nature oh i'm sorry the tokloy tea research institute is the world's oldest tea weather station hence the name it has been the designated standard for research on weather changes in the state down the decades analysis of temperature and humidity changes particularly over the last 3 decades has revealed worrying trends and muga has felt the negatives hard climate change is real and we feel the pains of climate change over 98 years data that we have there is a reduction of 200 mm rainfall even more than that and subsequently there is a rise of average minimum temperature by 1.3 degrees over 100 years last so it uh, leads to various uh, implications with the increase of climate change the pace pressure has increased lot of pace which were never there in the field of tea has come out now the minor pest has become major one of the example is a scale insect has come up The Muga Silkwork Seed Production Center in South Assam's Boko region that comes under the Central Silk Board is mandated to provide research and development as well as extension support for Muga sericulture in the region. The primary focus here is enabling scientific intervention in the meeting and mating of Muga butterflies. Some trees on an entire acre of land and thousands of worms being reared with passionate care yields just about 400 grams of silk 1000 cocoons generate about 125 grams of silk but a single sari needs at least 1000 grams the numbers and the climatic challenge tell the story and not a very happy one the declining of production is due to change of climate rise of temperature and humidity also the rain uh, is a uh, somewhat different like earlier to earlier days from assam's boko region a northward shift to the much talked of natural wonders of north assam the wealth of natural beauty of the region the undulating hills and brilliant skies the blue waters of the subanshiri river to boot raise awe of the beauty of nature but look closer and all is far from well on muga cultivation here too the residents of mohamardi gali village till very recently lived almost entirely of muga as laborers cultivating the worm and then processing from there its fading here has taken their lives to the brink too enege tachat boy kini solunga lasali school o pothia enege kapu kani kini bola ge taba ko kitab poto kini bola bohi kini bola kolom kini bola ge enege chaul bon enege kini khaunga ta thut boy pela for these people it's a message that is harsh and hurting the writing on the wall is louder and clearer than ever They turn to the mighty Brahmaputra for hope and sustenance.
For this boatman, these waters are a lifeline as they have been for countless others who have sought their support down centuries. The Burhaluit, as the locals know the river, is among the most powerful in the world. A divinity supporting and loving on one hand and a furious monster on the other causing widespread devastation during floods. Returning to the realities of Muga, Nethul Berman paints a bleak picture, one that points to Muga disappearing from Assam and soon. किरा पेड़ में ही सर जाता है ये पता नहीं चलता आपको अच्छा लगेगा कि पहले आप बहुत कीड़ा मिलेगा हमको मिलेगा पचास हज़ार बीस हज़ार ऐसे मिलेगा लेकिन क्या होता है बीच बीच में जो आप माइकी बोलते हैं माइकी निकलता है उस समय क्या होता है सर जाता है कीड़ा और मुगा मिलता है दो हज़ार चार हज़ार ऐसे मिलता है कम्बाइन नेथुल बर्मन स्पियर्स विद इल बोर्डिंग्स ऑफ वैनिशिंग सोम ट्रीज दैट फीड द वर्म्स एंड अ वारिंग पिक्चर जम्प्स आउट हमारा इगेशन सिस्टम तो एक बार ना है और अपना लोग के जेह गोश्त बुद्ध देखी सेटी है एक गोश्त बिलक ड्राई सीजन हुआ लोगे लोगे सो हुकाय जाए पात बिलक की तो खोड़ा ली की होए हरी हुकाय जाए पुली बिलक ये तो टा हमार डांगों हमेशा हुए ऐसी अमेज सिग्नल्स ऑल अराउंड ऑफ डार्कनेस सेटिंग इन ऑन मुगा सिल्क होली राम रब्बा स्टैंड्स आउट अगेन a beacon of hope that all is not lost. A symbol that enterprise and focused hard work can lead to revival. As large parts of Assam reel under fears of vanishing Muga worms to a warming climate, Holy Ram is out to overcome. He and his wife Kohima Rabba are regulars in the pristine Garo Khasi hills of the neighboring Meghalaya state. See them here. Deep in the high altitude dense jungles of the region collecting cocoons. Higher altitudes and lower temperatures mean that the vagaries of climate change have not set in here. The journey almost every month enables him to keep the seed preparation cycle back home alive. <laughs> Asam Meghalaya border or even like city like Meghalaya to go to Assam or any kind of Bihar or jungle, very costly. Or even if I want to go to Bombay, any costly or even like very costly Mazot. Holy Ram, above all, stands for success amid adversity, victory from the jaws of defeat, and that's the theme and lesson we carry with us to Dakua Khana, North Assam, near the Arunachal border. Where Muga sericulture and silkworm rearing strike a different note. Here, it takes the color of a community and cultural exercise beyond just the individual passion and ardor of the family bread earner. The land belongs to the state, given out to the community to prosper from it. It works in cycles, and most often with the entire village involved. From the eggs laid out on the sown tree leaves to the hatching into caterpillars about two millimeters in length, to thousands of them being left to climb the trees, eat voraciously, grow rapidly, as the entire village keeps guard against predators, because to them this worm is a lifeline. These are people who understand and identify with the worm and the cocoon. These are folks who for generations have lived with its every mood and facet. The sounds and smells are indication enough to them of the value and quality of the silk it will yield. <laughs> As activity intrinsic to their culture and heritage, they celebrate each turn 
each wind of hope, each optimism and anticipation of a new harvest. Because for them, the Muga is the world, song and ditty is life. The Muga Kitty from our Haran Kikok Summer. Geocolo Hosas or continue Kitty Kuitake, a new Hosor, Moby Hotor, continue Kuitao. Next by Nes Kuitago, it has a Nes on Yarase, it to Zagarse, next as Kozio Pamorse, Nesako Mami Pokunanusu, Sidogane. Over four to five weeks, this ravenous little leaf devourer has grown. He comes down the trees and holes, having expanded through several modes, from two millimeters to as long as three centimeters long. He has picked up and incubated away as he secretes his cocoon. This is a community looking eagerly and desperately for solutions, a people eager to take on the darkness that threatens their trade. Even with the light of their simple torch, hoping for a brighter dawn. A community and cultural event. To the economic and monetary benefits of Muga, we return to the story of our chief protagonist, Holy Ram Rabba and his family cottage industry in Batakuchi. Automated looms here, not the cut-cut of a bygone era. None of the poverty-stricken making ends meet here. Today, the prosperity of Holy Ram's household stands out as a symbol of rewards. The pictures here speak of having won a challenge and then reaping its benefits. An ideal of sorts that somewhere or the other, all of Assam aspires to. <laughs> And taking off from the Rabbas, the Baruas of Gualga, three generations of Muga cultivators who have won out of molding themselves with the times they live in. Veteran Hema Barua is a respected member of his community in Gualga. His biggest aura derives from having guided the youth of the day from the springboard of tradition to an acceptance of science and technology. Harnessing science and technology to help a rich tradition tied over difficult times. That's the central theme at the Central Muga Iri Research and Training Institute at Ladoigar in Jorhat. When they are uh, moths, during moth stage, they mate, but there is no fertilization. So it is effect of the climate change. And we get uh, only unfertilized eggs. And we cannot supply and we cannot fulfill the demand of the farmers. Basic, strategic and applied research to increase production and productivity of silkworms and their host plants is the focus. The center has promoted collaborative inter-institutional research programs with other institutes in the Northeast. For every organism, there is a gene system. If we can change its genetic makeup also for adapting to a high temperature, high humidity, resistance to gene, then we can incorporate resistant gene also in our MUGA system. We at Central MUGA Early Research and Training Institute is developing a molecular markers for early detection of diseases. Therefore, we can save the crops. By avoiding chemical fertilizer, we are using dhuncha plant, like cowpea, etc., different type of green manure plant we are using and other vermicompost we are using instead of chemical fertilizer. We are uh, identified some cooler region where we can carry out the seed crop rearing 
and uh, bring the cocoons to some other stations and uh, to prepare the DFLs and distribute to the needy people. The thick virgin forests of Golaghat have been identified to set up the world's first in-situ Muga conservation sanctuary. The topography and climate of the upper Doigrung region near the Assam Nagaland border are optimal to breeding the worm. Preserving the Muga silk moss in the wake of changing climate is the complete and central focus. In situ conservation, natural population को natural area में ही develop होने देना है। Future में जब कभी भी seed का problem होते हैं, तो हम peripheral zone में जो उड़के आएगा, गांव में जो population आएगा, उसको लेके multiply करके हम लोग फिर उसको seed provide करा सके। State government को, farmers को। Village Bogi Dhola, on the outskirts of this sanctuary in Kabi Anglong, has already been adopted. With the Kabianglong tribes of the area trained and employed for conservation and rearing activity, they will nurse the Som plantations and monitor the core, buffer, and peripheral zones. The moths migrating from the core zone to the peripheral zone will be multiplied in off site conservation activity. The results are visible. A wild moth migrating from the core zone to the periphery, seen here, is an achievement and victory of sorts for the entire effort. The laws of nature, sustaining life and livelihood, hold out promise once again. The clouds of adversity grow thinner. The magnificent glory of Muga Silk, its spectacular majesty, the cultural warmth that radiates from its rich texture and hue has no parallel worldwide because beyond the brilliance felt by the eye and the hand lies the folklore of a people's tradition. One that reaches into their livelihood and well-being and embraces their way of life. That is the real essence of Muga. Therein lies the real mysticism and enchantment of Muga that Assam exults in.